Dylan Thomas was one of the first reporters on scene. Dylan, thankfully, that family is okay. Kathy, four people were inside the house right behind me when an explosion happened in the garage, which is being boarded up as we speak. Neighbors tell me they could hear that explosion as well. Luckily, everybody inside was able to escape the fire, but the house itself wasn't as fortunate. It started with one loud bang. A family inside this home off of 112th and Clay Street were forced to run for safety as a fire fully engulfed their home. Westminster police officers happened to be driving by. They called into dispatch reporting smoke. The family left to stand outside and watch as their home burned. When they were getting themselves out when the police officers arrived. Within three minutes, Westminster firefighters were on scene, later joined by North Metro firefighters as well. From the ground and towering above, firefighters battled the blaze. Dozens would respond, yet all were forced to fight the flames from outside. It was unsafe to enter the house. Um, the house became fully involved. The heat from the fire so hot, it burst neighboring windows. Um, we were able to protect the homes to uh, either side. Only the spokes and rim of a bike withstood the flames inside the garage, hanging on the wall above charred vehicles. And then there were three uh, smaller explosions. Once we got on scene, we think that they were uh, fuel tanks in the cars that were inside the garage. The owner of the home, who wished not to speak on camera, told CBS4 he was just happy everyone was able to get out safely, safe from a fire which claimed their home in less than 30 minutes. Kathy, tonight they believe that fire started in the garage, but they are still investigating at this hour inside the home. We are told the house is a complete loss. Live in Westminster, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first. Thank you, Dylan.